everyone so today i'm going to be showing you four breakfast ideas these are all really simple and also really really delicious so the first one we're going to get started with is just a normal porridge so i like to add about half a cup of rolled oats and then a full cup of water just get that going and while it's on the stove i like to chop up my banana which is going to go on the top Once the oats are almost finished cooking, I like to add a heaped teaspoonful of honey. I just think this is the best sweetener for porridge. This is what my grandma used to make porridge with, and it's just my favorite. And then once it's in the bowl, I just place the chopped banana on top and then add my milk. And that is the first breakfast. Breakfast number two is going to be a smoothie. So for this, I like to use a banana, some frozen blueberries, plain Greek yogurt, and some milk. I start by just breaking up my banana. I don't bother chopping it. Uh, then I add my blueberries, and I don't measure them, but I probably add about a third of a cup. Then I add in two full spoons of plain yogurt, and then I just fill it up with my milk and just blend it all together and that is literally all you have to do for this this is my go-to breakfast for days that i'm at work it's so easy to just blend everything all together and then just take it with me and drink it on my way to work this next breakfast has the most ingredients and takes the longest to make out of everything i'm showing you today it's going to be savory muffins but I just think that they're so easy to chuck in the fridge and then you can grab one at the start of each day so you don't even have to make breakfast in the mornings. We're gonna start by turning the oven onto 180 degrees Celsius and then we're going to grate up about a cup of cheese. You can use more or less depending on your preferences. I like less, Jonathan likes more. And we're gonna put all of the dry ingredients into a big bowl. Next is a cup of self-raising flour, a tablespoon of sugar and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Then I'm just going to chop up some spring onions. This wasn't in the recipe, but I like to do this. You can just chop up as much or as little as you want. I also add in uh, a red pepper, or we call it capsicum here in New Zealand. We're going to give that a bit of a stir and then move on to the wet ingredients. So we want a cup and a half of milk, two eggs, give that a bit of a mix together and then add that into the dry ingredients. Again, mix it all up, but make sure with muffins that you're not over mixing. And then we're going to be placing that into a muffin tray, which we're just going to spray with a bit of cooking oil, just to make sure they come out nice and easily at the end. We're going to put those in the oven. You want to leave them for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I like to start with 10 and then check them, turn them around and give them a little bit longer. On this occasion, I gave them two more minutes, but of course it depends what they look like and how far cooked they are. Once those are finished cooking, you want to leave them and let them cool down for a few minutes before you take them out of the muffin tray. And then just place them on a cooling rack for another few minutes just so that they don't get soggy before you plate them up. And the last breakfast I'm showing you today is going to be scrambled eggs. These are the ingredients that I use because you can add veggies to your scrambled eggs and they still taste really, really good. So I'm cracking two eggs mixing it together with a little bit of milk and then I'm just going to add some chopped spring onions. I really like these, they give it such a nice flavour. And then I'm also adding in the rest of my uh, red pepper or capsicum that I use from my muffins. You can add some salt or pepper, season it however you want and then just stick it in a fry pan and mix it all together until it is cooked. It is one of the easiest, healthiest breakfasts that I know how to make and it keeps you full for a really long time. So those are my four healthy, easy breakfast ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you let me know which one of these breakfasts was your favorite and I will see you guys next time. Bye.